Welcome back to High Stakes. Today, we will be discussing the following NFL matches that is happening on Friday, August 25, 2023. We will be providing our team, total and prop picks for the day. Before we get started, please remember to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. If you want access to our premium picks, you can check out our Patreon page. You can find the link to our Patreon page in the description and comments section below. Detroit Lions vs Carolina Panthers. Take Carolina to win and cover. And here is why. Matt Corral out of LA Miss has thrown the most passes for the Panthers over the first two weeks. Corral has gone 24 for 35 with 197 yards, but did not throw a touchdown pass in either game. Jake Luton got reps under against the Giants, he threw a late touchdown pass, but that may have overshadowed that he was just 2 for 7 on the game. Andy Dalton is on the roster but is not expected to play. Young will start, with Corral following, and Luton may get another chance late. Miles Sanders is returning from a quad injury, but I do not expect the former Eagle to play against Detroit. Every other back has played in the preseason so far, Chubba Hubbard, Raheem Blackshear and Spencer Brown are all battling for second string behind Sanders. Brown led the way in the opener with 34 yards on 8 carries, while Blackshear had the most yards the following week with 31 and added a touchdown. Expect all three of these backs to play, as Sanders likely rests. The top receiving targets have been active in the preseason. Adam Thielen and DJ Chark Jr. both caught a pass in each game, and rookie Jonathan Mingo caught his first NFL pass last week against the Giants. Shai Smith, a third-year receiver out of South Carolina, played well last week against New York, he led the team with four receptions for 59 yards. Carolina is gearing up to field a higher proportion of their key players. The Panthers are strategically preparing for their future, recognizing that their youthful athletes require additional game exposure to acclimate to the demands of the NFL. On the other hand, Detroit finds itself in a relatively unfamiliar position as favorites within their division. Given these heightened expectations, the Lions are adopting a cautious approach, choosing not to jeopardize their prominent players through unnecessary risks of injury. The focal point of this strategy centers on the quarterback position. I anticipate that Bryce Young will see increased playing time in this game compared to the preceding two weeks, while the likelihood of Jared Goff's participation remains quite low. Notably, the Panthers are even deploying their seasoned veterans in this preseason, exemplified by Adam Thielen, who has managed to secure receptions in both previous games. As the game draws to its conclusion, the outcome could be influenced by the performances of Carolina's Matt Corral and Detroit's Nate Sudfeld. Both quarterbacks are anticipated to engage in a close competition without a distinct advantage for either. Carolina is expected to establish an early lead with their starters, a momentum that they will carry throughout the game, ultimately securing a victory in their final preseason match. Take the under as a total pick. And here is why. The Lions are averaging 14 ppg this preseason, and the Panthers are averaging 9.5. The Panthers are expected to play their starters more in this game, which will bump their scoring up, but not enough to hit the over. The Lions' top players are either done for the preseason or never checked in at all. Goff, Gibbs, Amon Ross St. Brown and Jamison Williams are out on the offensive end, and this is why they only scored 7 points last week. Sudfeld has been struggling, as Bridgewater is likely locking up the second string position. Sudfeld will still get snaps this week and will help the Sunder hit. The season is right around the corner, and both teams will happily let the clock run to preserve the health of their players. New England Patriots vs Tennessee Titans. Take the Titans' money line as home underdogs. And here is why. The Titans were a disappointment last year largely because of their offense, which scored only 17.5 points per game last year. Ryan Tanhill remains the starter, but all eyes are on back of quarterbacks Malik Willis, who is coming off a forgettable rookie year, and rookie Will Levis, with the hope that one of the young passers steps up. The other question for the offense is which skill players will carry the offense, making the preseason crucial for rookie running back Ty J. Spears and receivers Kyle Phillips, Chris Moore, and Racy McMath. This is going to be a great game between two teams hoping to end the preseason on a high note. The Patriots look to win on the road, but the Titans are coming off a strong performance and should take over the final preseason game. The Titans look to bounce back after their offense only scored 17.5 points per game last year and constantly find the ends in with Malik Willis and Will Levis, making plays down the field and finding open receivers for big gains. The Titans should limit the Patriots' offense with Jaleel Johnson and Naquin Jones, stepping up in the trenches and stopping plays up front, while linebackers Chance Campbell and Monty Rice stuff runs and limit big plays in the middle of the field. The Titans should win the game and provide great odds in the process as road underdogs. Our total pick is over on 38.5 points. And here is why. Both offenses have a lot to prove, and I see both teams driving down the field with ease from the opening kickoff. 
the Patriots, who scored only 21.4 points per game last year, look to step up and constantly find the ends in what Bailey's app and Trace McSorley, finding open receivers down the field and picking apart the Titans' defense. The Titans look to build off a preseason game where they scored 24 points and run up a score with Malik Willis and Will Levis, finding receivers Kyle Phillips, Chris Moore, and Racy McMath open down the field, while running back Ty J Spears gashes the Patriots' defense on the ground. The over should cover in a high-scoring game with both offenses stepping up. Los Angeles Chargers vs San Francisco 49ers. Take the 49ers. And here is why. The 49ers were triumphant last week against the Denver Broncos, winning 21-20 at home. Trey Lance shook off an interception on his first drive to set up two fourth-quarter scores. He finished 12 for 18 for 173 yards. Lance followed up last week's poor start by throwing an interception on a screen pass on his first possession of the game. But he also threw a 22-yard TD pass to Cameron Ladu and two big passes to Ronnie Bell to set up the winning kick by Jake Moody. He is in a battle with Sam Darnold for the backup quarterback job. Brock Purdy got his first game action since injuring his elbow in San Francisco's NFC title game loss at Philadelphia. Purdy underwent surgery on March 10 and made it back for training camp but did not play in the preseason opener at Las Vegas. He went 4 for 5 for 65 yards. They were only short passes, as Debo Samuel broke free on one to inflate his yard total. There has not been any word from the 49ers on whether Purdy will play in this game, but if he does, expect to see the same type of output. It will be Darnold and Trey Lance behind center for the majority of snaps. Justin Herbert will not take the starting position in this concluding preseason game for the Chargers. Instead, it will once again be the Easton Stick show, and despite his commendable performance last week, it's important to acknowledge that the 49ers possess a notably more stringent defense. Although they may be facing backup players, Stick's engagement in a full four-quarter game was last observed when he guided North Dakota State to victory over Eastern Washington during the football championship subdivision title match. It's reasonable to anticipate his presence on the field for the entire first half of the game. Conversely, the 49ers have plans to field their starters, driven by the ongoing competition between Trey Lance and Sam Darnold for the backup quarterback position. These players boast greater experience and establishment within the NFL compared to Easton Stick. Given the considerable spread and the likelihood of Brock Purdy making appearances in the first few series, it's reasonable to have confidence in the 49ers to initiate the game with a commanding lead. Last week, Darnold relieved Purdy and impressively completed 11 out of 14 passes for 109 yards. Having previously served as a starter in the league, Darnold is poised to perform well against the Chargers' third-string players. Take the over. And here is why. The 49ers drafted Trey Lance a few years ago and need to know what they have in the kid. He has struggled with injuries and inconsistent play, and this preseason is important for him to try and establish a role on an NFL roster. Lance shook off an interception on his first drive to set up two fourth-quarter scores. He finished 12 for 18 for 173 yards. Lance followed up last week's poor start by throwing an interception on a screen pass on his first possession of the game, so it did not look promising. But, he shook that off and delivered nice throws on the final drive to set up the game-winning field goal. He figures to get the bulk of early action, with Sam Darnold coming in for the remainder. They will be facing a slew of backups, and both are capable of being back-end starters or high-end backups in the NFL. They will dominate the Chargers' third and fourth stringers and put up a big number.